poor man read the headlines. Niggas hating on cream to spare ill rhymes. AR 15 is the minimum. Uh, plenty of shots for many men. Four door Porsche Cayennes. I got them hitters in the back seat. Loading up choppers, my man's pinky fingers. Worth more than country Grammy singers. All from the love of the money, the crack things bring us. I done seen it all through a street scope. I watched the fiend smoke, caught street dreams, and got their dreams broke. Now they ain't dreaming, they woke. But still walking around like they sleep. Packing no heat in they coat. These niggas slipping. Walking around naked in the war zone. Bullets hit your jawbone. You rapping like 50. Ambulances running red lights just to get you there. I got them headers on site in intensive care. Yeah, and you- I want to get somebody special on the line with us. Now, I mean, um, uh, 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 somebody that's real, um, legendary online, uh, a very special person. Just give me one second, let me get this situated right quick, right now. Um, oh, here we go, here we go, right here. Um, seven zero six two. Welcome to the Freshlander Radio Show. Can you please state your name for the people that don't know but need to know? This is Half Pint from Son of Berserk, featuring No Self Control. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on, Queen? What's the deal? Let's go. I'm just, you know, I'm basking in the afterglow of being on break. So, you know, I'm I'm trying to uh, get my bearings back for work. (laughs) Uh But, um, you know, we've been in the studio putting in some work, um, Uh working on, I'm a a co-host for the Hip Hop for Justice panel discussion that happens on Sundays as well as a part of the Hip Hop Uh for Justice Coalition. I produce a, um, a webcast show, educational webcast show called The Classroom Hip Hop 101 with Dr. Blizzy, and Uh um, I'm doing my thing, you know. I'm going to be working on a solo project this year, so hopefully. They no were. Okay. Yeah, let's right. go. Let's go. Let's yes, go. I, I, I've decided that um, I, I mean, I've decided that I want to do it. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that the people want to hear what I got to say. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, we can just continue to build a stronger nation so that we can, you know, leave something for our kids. No doubt, no doubt. No, no, no. Now, Miss ha- Half Pint, Miss Half Pint. Um, first of all, welcome to the Fresh Land, the radio show. This is Harlem Fresh One Two Five talking to you. Um, can you please give a people, give the people a little insight on your background, who you used to run with, and who you come up under? Because this is very important to me. This is a very important moment to me. Can you please let them know your background? Well, um, <clears throat> I'm from Strong Island. Next to the Terra Dome, I'm from Port Knox all day, every day. Next to the Terra Dome, uh-huh. which is known also as Roosevelt. I'm uh-huh. under I'm getting stand up. My yeah. wife, <laughs> son of a yep. jerk, you know, self control. We are an extension of the PE family, public enemy family. All so right. I've been um, right. in the business for over 30 years. Um, and, you know, I've been blessed to be around so many. Um, powerful, intense, empowering brothers and sisters, especially under the PE banner, because as uh-huh. you already know, they put in work and they've introduced us to the game, uh, to the rest of the world, and I've been able to, you know, meet a lot of powerful yeah. and, and, and intense brothers and sisters who are, you know, for the people and are doing it and trying to preserve this culture that we call hip-hop. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. See, and, and this is what I'm talking about. Y'all never know who calls up to this show. We have legendary, yo, oh my, this is a blessing right now. Let me let me fall back for a minute. Left hand, they go ahead and you got you got him you got him blushing. You got him blushing, Frank. You got him blushing. <laughs> well, thank you, my brother. I appreciate. It. Listen, I, I appreciate all the love, much respect. I love what you guys are doing, and you know, anytime that you need me to call up. You know, I'm down for that. But I definitely... No doubt. Slander, slander is stunned. I ain't heard a word from him yet. Yeah, not, <laughs> slander, what's yeah. good? You all right? Because <laughs> it, it's the fact... It's the fact. Yeah, yeah, if the people yeah. are listening, this we have... Do, do y'all understand the group Public Enemy? Yes, we're talking about Chuck D, Flavor Flav, Don't Believe the Hype. Yes, we're talking about a piece of that element of hip-hop. Y'all don't understand how important this shit is. Slender, go ahead. The floor is yours. I mean, I'm just, I'm just listening to her voice. You get what I'm saying? Because it's just, it's a blessing just to have you on the show. I'm mad, Slender. You know, um, even though when you guys were out, I was a little younger. You know, I'm 34. 
But I know of you guys. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know you guys were an extension of Public Enemy. Yes. And and I love Public Enemy, you know. And the only question I'm going to ask, how was it back then? As far as, like, you were, you were the only female in the group, correct? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh-huh. And how, how um, was that? How, how for was me, that I don't think I really had, I had a problem. See, the, the, the fellas are older than I am. And okay. Um, when I got into the group, this is, you know, people, I don't think people really understand how it happened. I mean, I'm a part of the hip-hop culture because I was young growing up in it. So I was like all the rest of the, you know, young B-boys, B-girls, you know, and mm-hmm. rapping, you know, banging on the tables during school lunch and, you know, mm-hmm. rhyming and That's doing right. all that kind of stuff, writing rhymes instead of writing down my notes in school, right. you know. So, <laughs> and, the, and the brothers, mm-hmm. they were already together as a part of the Townhouse 3, which is a um, a local hip-hop group that was in the, in the neighborhood who actually knew Chuck and Spectrum and, and Flav because mm. Berserk and Flav grew up together. They, You know, they um, Flav used to babysit me. They, the guys used to come up to my house all the time when I was uh-huh. younger. And I didn't really know, you know, what was happening on their end. They were putting in work, doing shows at WBAU, um, and Chuck was at the time uh, um, a sportscaster at uh-huh. um, Adelphi on the radio station of WBAU, um, WBAI. And um, what happened was um, once they got put on, their idea, their whole plan was to, once they get on, to put on the rest of the groups that were emerging or that had already had a following in Long Island to, to represent Long Island hip-hop. Especially, okay. you know, Nassau County because you had EPMD already, you had Rakim already, you had the brothers out in the Suffolk County. But in Nassau, you just really had P.E., you had Glamorous, who was a sister who was down with um, Juice Crew. You had, you know, mm-hmm. you had Vikings of little places, but their idea was to put everybody together. So under the 510 banner, which was the headquarters for P.E., people came in, and that's where they got their bearings, kind of like the Motown machine. And I just happened to be at the park one day playing ball, and, you know, I'm a ball player, and I played in college, so... Here yeah, I am playing, you know, with my friends. We we putting in work, playing the dudes, you know, how we do. You know, uh-huh. putting in work. And then um, somebody comes up to me and says, yo, sound like you can make records. I'm like, yeah, right, whatever, you know. Not really thinking much of it because, like I said, I already knew the people. I knew, but I just wasn't immersed in that in that part of the business. Um, yeah. And, again, my mindset was college, bull, you know, the, um, the NBA. Not the WNBA, but the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm only five, yeah. but yo, I, that's how I thought. And um, so when I finally, you know, we I, I, I agreed to um, to be down in the group. Come to find out, it was the reemergence of Son of Berserk coming from the Townhouse Three, which added me, you know, and come up a couple other people to you know make the group complete. So when becoming a part of the group, I never really realized what the impact was, nor did I under, nor did I understand that this was something that was something that was rare. I mean, you've seen it with with Shy Rock and the Funky Four plus one more. Mm. You know, Respect. you saw it. Mm-hmm. You know, even the Juice Crew, but even Roxanne, Shantae, and Glamorous were solo acts first. Mm-hmm. You know, they just were. They were shout part out, of shout out to um, shout out, shout out to Master Don, Pebbly Poo, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All day, every day, I'm a, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of, of the mm-hmm. pioneers because that's what made me think that I could actually do this, you know. So, in and in, in being part of that, I didn't really, I didn't feel or ex- experience some of the things that I think some females experience in being in a male-dominated field. And I, and I think okay. part of that's part of my personality too, where I just came in like, yo, it's, it's, I'm kicking down doors. What you want me to do? How are we going to do this? And they treated me like a little sister, and that's exactly what I've become, the sister of hip-hop, the little sister of hip-hop. Okay. But, you know, everyone has embraced, has embraced me with the respect that I command and vice versa. So, you know, I always were under that tutelage and that respect that Public Enemy has and that they've garnered along with the other groups that I've been, you know, been around. You know, they yeah. put that love, they, they put that love out where it's just strictly, you know, what you do on little sister, you're all right, you're good. All right, you know what I mean? And I realized that that's something that, um, you know, listening and talking to some sisters that had, was kind of rare, um, okay. you know, coming up 
because you had to kind of, you know, in that male-dominated field, you had to make sure that you could stand on your own. And I think mm. that they kind of saw that from me from my perspective early on, and it just kind of just, you know, it became what it was. My, myself as a little sister of the hip-hop, you know what I mean? I'm the, you know, the Lynn Collins to Berserk's James Brown, in a sense. All right. You know, the first female hype, you know, but I'm also an MC, so I, you know, I put it out there and I do what I have to do and I, you know, and I make sure that I, perf- I perform and I leave everything on on the stage. And okay. I get the respect that I, you know, I get the respect as a as a um a comrade in a part of the a part of the hip hop culture. So, I have to salute all those brothers and sisters that, you know, that embrace me and that respect me in that regard cuz I respect them. No doubt, okay. no doubt. Now, can I ask yeah, you, I, did, when, when you were come, in, in your era, were there any other female artists that you felt that were dope too? Oh yes, listen, there is every female that I've 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 heard put pen to pad or lyrics on the mic. I thought was dope. I thought, okay. you know, like I said, Shy Rock. I'm great. I'm a great fan of a big fan of Shy Rock, of Pebbly Pool, Sparky D, um, Lisa, Lisa Lee. Lee. I- Okay. It's all the way up to the new to, to the new sisters. There's a sister called uh, Mocha Bands. When I tell you she's the truth and she's the, she's the you know what hip hop is about to emerge to, that's what I'm talking about. She's respecting the, the culture. She respects the, the the elders and the pioneers, and she's putting in her work. Um, MC Shiva, um, you know, it just it, I'm a fan of I'm a fan of, of hip hop itself, of no rap doubt. itself, but I'm, but I respect the sister that's a part of the game because it's not easy. And I, 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 I realize that from hearing the stories that people tell, but also in my decision to do a solo project, I'm, I'm realizing, like, you know, to be an MC on your own coming from a group when the world is just going to be listening to you or, you know, your audience is going to be listening to you, that's a hard uh-huh. task to follow, especially in a mm. male-dominated field where yeah. so much exploitation is taking place. So I have to salute mm-hmm. all the pioneers, you know, during my era and before for putting it down and having integrity in what they do. And not to say that they don't have integrity now, because they do, but, you know, you what you see is you see some levels of, 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 of the music business and the game being exploited where we're not looking at, we're not listening to the content, we're looking at the visuals. And, you know, we kind of uh-huh. move away from that. But I, gotta I know exactly what you mean. In, right, but I got to respect the system for putting in the game and putting in the work. So I have to salute all of them, you know? No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Now, do you feel, um, do you feel like, like with this era, like this, uh, like with the era, like the Little Kims and the Foxy Browns and the Remy Martins, like were you tapped into that era? Like, do you had, did you have a favorite in them, or did you just like embrace and love all of them with the different styles and flavors that they brought to the hip hop? I listen to all of them, and I think that they're all great, and there's enough room for all of them to do what they do. And I salute them all. I respect them all. Okay. I follow them all. You know, in order in order for you to be a fan, you have to be able to really respect and listen to the music and the content. I can't say the same for you know some of what I hear today, and a lot of brothers that are putting out some stuff because I think some of it's a lot of it's counterproductive in a sense. Uh-huh. A lot of it also has mm-hmm. to do with I think um, the expression of, you know, the self-expression that they have, I think it has to do with a lot of mental health issues that we're not, that we as a community doesn't face, don't face and don't address. And I think that they're, they're, they're kind of putting it out there on the mic. And I think it's good because it's bringing awareness, but we have to do it um, with a regard, with a, you know, with a regard of saying, okay, if this is the issue, we have to address it. Yeah, you can no longer yeah, say what right, happens in the house right. stays in the house or take it and put right. it on the altar and leave it there without any professional support that can give them mm-hmm. strategies to focus because our young people are dealing with a crisis, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I really believe, and I, like I said, I wholeheartedly respect every sister that's out there that's putting in putting in work for the game. I mean, no you, know, I, I, um, you know, I know that a lot of them are coming, you know, coming back on the scene like Antoinette. Mm-hmm. Who's, Shout out to Antoinette, no doubt. Yes, mm-hmm. and she's still doing her thing. And like I said, Glamorous, you know, she's still doing her thing. You know, Roxanne is doing her thing. They're, they're always still doing what they, they do best, and they're growing in their content and in their, in their, 
So they, you know, and I, I have my own lane, and I respect everything they do. Uh huh. I wish, no somebody, doubt, I wish no somebody would. I wish somebody would talk Jean Grey into coming back. Really? Yo, she's oh. dope. When I tell you she's dope, she's dope too. And I liked even Jean her Grey little, um, her, 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 um, her little podcast that she would have. A web show right. that she would have, you know, right. in her journey. And that's a talented sister. And this is where no this is this is where we this is where the exploitation <clears throat> is because and we talk about the visuals where, you know, the content of what these sisters are doing is not being uh-huh. really played the way that it should be. Because for the system it, if it don't make dollars it don't make sense. And we know that right. sex sells. And now, again, not taking away from anybody that's that that, that that that's their lane, it's okay. You know what I mean? Because that's what they do. No, no disrespect, yeah. no shade. I just think that you know certain things have certain timelines, certain time periods, and, and daytime, of, uh, you know, radio time where it should be played, where it should be aired, and accessibility to those only in that age range. You know, no doubt. You know, when we were growing up, we knew Red Fox and Richie yeah. Pryor and, and and Millie Jackson. Wild and man, Oprah. wild we man, Steve. Right, right, right. So we that's knew all right. about, them, but we knew that we wasn't going to hear it on the top eight at eight or. Mm-hmm. In the 12 and 12, but we knew that it existed, and our parents knew how to get to it and get access mm-hmm. to it if that's what they want to listen to when they listen to it. We would sneak and listen to it. Right, that's right. We knew that we couldn't listen to that's it right. in the comfort <laughs> or, or, or the presence of our parents, and I think that that's something that, that has to be, you know, addressed by our young people. Let me, let me, ask, you, let me ask you a question, um, Pint. We got half Pint, Son of Berserk, no self control in the building, man. Yes, for, uh, for playing the radio in the house. Listen, um, do you think that um, Long Island gets a, 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 a enough respect or the respect that it deserves? Because a lot of classic groups and a lot of them that, that don't get talked about, like you know, um, and, and I'm gonna start from like the JBC Force, Kings of Prussia, De La Soul. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Keith Murray. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, you know, I, talk about that a little bit. Talk about the influence that Long Island has. You talked about 510, you know, was that 510 Franklin? I know that spot. Yes, Shout out yes, to Johnny Deuce. Deuce. That's my man. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You know I'll tell you, that was a machine. That was like the Motown machine. Yeah, I mean, you know, because uh, my, my aunt lived not too far from there on Cooper Court. So, okay, you know, I would, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I would go out, come out to LA and, 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 and cool out, because some of them, you know, a couple of cats I knew with the Uniondale High School. So, you know what I mean? We would hang out or whatever, whatever. We see Johnny Juice. You know what I mean? We see Flav. You know what I mean? We see, yeah, we see Charlie. Shout out to Charlie and Dico and Milo. Shout out to all of them. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk- yeah, man. I mean, and, and you mentioned, you know, um, BAU. I mean, that's really going back. I mean, talk about the yeah. influence that Long Island has, you know, on hip hop. And, and do you think that it it, it, it it didn't? It's just do. Um, we have a large impact. And again, because hip hop started in, in in the Bronx, in the boroughs, it came to the boroughs. I think it it made its course to Long Island on on several timelines. You know, we were out. In the early 80s, then you had, with, you know, with again with with the with the original concept, you had mm-hmm. Baby That's right. You had, That's right. Um, yep. You had then you had Rock Kim. So we yep. we were trailblazers because what we did was we brought something different to the table. We talked about mm. what we knew about the suburbs. And yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, you know, we got a lot of clean air. You got elbow room. Ain't nobody shacked on top of each other. We ain't mad. But we had a different feel, a different approach. That's where you mm-hmm. also notice that a lot of some of that, most of that consciousness came out of it because we had time to think, we had time to ponder. You know what I mean? We had a little bit more. We didn't have, we didn't have all the resources that we should have in our communities because we were affected by the Reaganomics and crack epidemic too. But we also had, we had some leftover where we could, where our parents. Or our community was like, you know what? Listen, you, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna galvanize together. We're gonna make sure that we work it out. So we had an opportunity to tell our story, and it it varied. You have from De La Soul talk about potholes on their lawn. Yeah. Uh huh. Me yeah. talking about you a customer. The public right. enemy talking about fighting the power. Rock him talking about my melody. So we had, right. you know, we had a, a plethora of, you know, influences. But also, we were able to tell our story, and people were listening, and people rocked to that, and they got it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we were able to create product that could test, stand the test of time. And funny that you should mention that, because in July, I'm having, a, um, under the, you know, Hip Hop for Justice, 
uh-huh. um, coalition as well as my my um my consultant firm. We are the Village because I do consult educational, you know, consultant. Anybody want need one? Just hook us a step. <laughs> but um, mm. if you, you know, I'm having a, 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 a panel discussion on the impact of Long Island hip hop, the global impact of Long Island. Well, that's hip-hop. dope. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get you know EPMD and De La Soul and Keith Murray and Biz and Glamorous. Mm-hmm. Leaders and Son of Berserk, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Shamelo, Five Ten Family, all those people yeah, that yeah, had shout an out to Mello, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. Shout me? out to Keith Shockley, Hank Shockley, no doubt. No. I just saw, I just saw him the other day. <laughs> no <you know>? doubt. <laughs> and and so so bringing them back, you know, so they can talk to the youngsters about the impact that we've had because there has been an impact. Yeah, that's that right. Kinda, New York in itself almost lost his voice, but it's kind of coming. It's coming back. You know. Word. So we kind of lost. We kind of got lost in 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 what the South was doing, and we kind of figured that that's where we're supposed to go. And then I think we had to regroup and reconnect. And focus. And mm-hmm. now we're coming back out even stronger. You know, no and Long doubt. Island is part of that as well, with the young youngsters that are coming up. And I want I want to be able to show them and teach them about the history and the legacy of Long Island hip hop, so they know they don't have to be like anybody else. Tell your story. No, tell your right. truth. We're in it. You know what I mean? Speak truth to power, and however, mm-hmm. how, whatever the message is, somebody's going to get it. Don't chase the check. Word. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you too, and that it'll fall in place. And that's what we're, you know, that's what Hip Hop for Justice is about. Also, I make sure that in my classroom, I'm teaching, I'm dropping those jewels for my, for my kids. No word, word. That's what it's about. I think a lot of people, uh, this generation tries to overlook the history and they don't think it's that important, but the history is definitely important. You have to understand the origin, where it all started, where it comes from. And you don't Absolutely. have to be you gotta a know where you, you, you gotta know where you came from to know where you're going. And I exactly. think that we live in a microwavable society where our kids you can press a button and it does all the thinking for them. Everything that they want to know is at their disposal, but they're so distracted by so many other things that instead of finding the history and looking at the history and respecting the culture from the pioneers and the origin to the elements to, you know, where mm-hmm. we come mm-hmm. I think Word. they caught up in chasing that check because they believe in the hype and what they see. They believe in what the system is telling them, what the corporations are telling them, what the core plantations are telling them, and preparing them for, which is prison or death. You know, so Word. we have to... We have to realign ourselves with our core values of what hip hop was about. The whole culture, retraining them, and even retraining ourselves because you know right. we get caught true. up in we get caught up in our hype too. And because mm-hmm. we, you know, we tend to believe that, or we know that we as youngsters we start this culture. We want to, in a sense, kind of some of us want to kind of remain young, and they want to do what these young people are doing, not realizing right. that you falling victim as opposed to <laughs> telling them and teaching them what they should be doing and what the, where they should be going without preaching, right. you know what I'm saying, but modeling the behavior, that this way right. they know that they should be uplifting each other. You know what I'm right. saying? A battle, no rap, a battle rap is about, you know what I'm saying, taking it to the pen and the paper and the imagination and using your... Right, your, your right. To That's right. Opponent, you know, your, your opponent, as opposed to picking up a gun, you know what I mean, and saying, yo, I don't even want to be bothered. I don't want to catch this L. I'm just going to put you on your back. And that, right, that mentality is so short-lived, but it's being glorified, and it's exposing our kids to a, a, a lifestyle that is not ours, that is, you know, only perpetuated onto us because we're allowing it and not dictating our narrative. Word, that's what it is, that's what it is Yo, this is Freshlander Radio Show We have the legendary Half Pint From Sons of Berserk on here Affiliated with Public Enemy Make sure y'all that's tune funny. in Y'all can call up at 516-387-1936 Yo, Fresh, I mean, uh, Mad Slander, what's good? What's your question? I know you got one, Slander I'm waiting for it <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Half Pint Yeah, yeah Um. Now, since you You said you're doing some new music, right? Yes, mm-hmm. that's, yes, we are. Okay. Now, I do this to all the females who come up here mm-hmm. that are artists. Here it comes. You're, you're, you're no, you know, <laughs> we love you. We got all the respect in the world from you, but you're not exempt. Back then to now, how do you feel about ghostwriting, meaning females, half of all the females in hip-hop damn near have a ghostwriter? Did you have one? Or did you write your own rhymes? And how do you feel about females not writing their rhymes? Listen, 
I don't knock the next man's hustle, but for mm-hmm. me personally, I write my own stuff. You know, That's what I mean? wrong. Most writers That's have wrong. Hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> bong, bong. She write her own <laughs> shit. She write, I'm sorry, okay. half point. I just had That's to okay. have fun. I'm sorry. I know, you write I know your most own writers shit. serve a purpose for some people because they're able to articulate what someone may not be able to put on pen and paper. But for mm-hmm. me, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know if it's ego or what, but I'd rather be whack on my own. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I, if you don't like yep. it, you don't like it. But if it's my truth, it is what it is. Nobody can tell my That's story better ego. than me. Bong bong, you know let's go. And, and not, and not to knock anybody's hustle. Again, it is what it is. But for me, I like to write my own things because I, 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 I got a, I got a big mouth and I like to talk. Let's and go. I talk, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I talk shit. So, you know, for me, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't call out or, you know, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm mom and I can't, I can't talk about something that I don't know. So I have to talk about mm-hmm. what I know. I got to talk about my truth. I got to be honest with myself. Would mm-hmm. I ever use one? I, can, I don't know. I doubt very seriously that I would. It would have to be some real bomb shit that I just really felt like, okay, this talks to me, but I just couldn't say it. I, but I doubt right. everything that I would. Okay, my, you know? mm-hmm. But again, not to knock anybody hustle, but for me, I choose to do my shit myself. Right. It's, it's not go. about, I wouldn't call it, 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 it's not about knocking somebody's hustle. It's just that that's the main reason why females in hip hop are not taken serious to, to, to the max. Because it's like, okay. Who am I giving credit to? You or the person right. who wrote it? The person that wrote it, mm-hmm. right? But then you got mm-hmm. to say the same thing. But then you know, on the flip side, you got to say the same thing to the brothers that are not writing their stuff. Because oh, a lot no, of them, no. they all get Oh yeah, he they does it. Yeah, them, believe. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. And all I'm saying is, mm-hmm. you know, again, that, that for some people it serves a purpose. You know, if a, you know when when they are when an R and B singer is singing and he don't write all his stuff, nobody's questioning that. But I do That's understand true. the authenticity and the, the 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 point of us writing our own thing because it was about a self expression. It was about the voice for the voiceless. So if I, in order for me to be heard, I gotta be speaking my own voice. So right, that's exactly. why I, you know that's why I feel like I have to write my own stuff. You can have the thing is with me, fine. You can have a scroll or write your rhymes. My thing is this. You're not. I don't care how good the song is. I don't care how many records you sell from it. I'm not putting you as as a goat, as one of the greatest of all time. Right. You can be. Right, you didn't you're write an entertain, Yeah, you're an entertainer. Right. You're not a goat. You know. And I, and, I, and I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at yeah. that. But I think for us, too many times in hip hop, we start to pigeonhole people, and we have to start thinking about the labels that we're using. And how they can find a person, and sometimes, mm-hmm. especially with, with 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 the sisters, we're com- we're confined in a bubble because we are women, and then you and then they like to put us in particular, or what, they want to put us against each other, as opposed to saying, yo, these females are just dope because they dope, and we're gonna leave it at that, you know what I'm saying? Or compare us to the brothers in that sense, where you talk about who goes, who's going hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that I think that you know we have to, we have to look at why what where these labels really coming from are they coming from us or are they coming from a system that is only you know used to confine us and to to dictate to us what we look like and what we sound like and who we are. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. I, I I just look at it this way, right? It's not fair to the real MCs, the real splitters who sit there and write their rhymes, and that's great. And then here you come. Not you per se. I'm just speaking in right. general. I understand what you're saying. And, and you come, I'm writing it for you, and now you're being compared to a great who actually wrote all his shit or wrote all right. all her shit. Right. It's not, I think, that, I think that, 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 that was that's what the issue is. Is a thin line because there's a difference between being a writer, an MC, and writing your own rhymes, and then being a performer. Mm-hmm. You know, perform something that somebody else wrote. And then, uh, and actually creating a song because you have people who write and you have people who who make songs. Then that's two different things as well. Exactly. Yeah. Like a battle rapper could be dope when it comes to battle rhyme, but they might not be able to write a song 
you know what I'm saying, and put it in a format where it actually is a viable, you know, piece of, of material that others can actually say, okay, yo, I got that. Or, yo, that's hot. That's just as hot as the bar that he spit when he was dialing such and such. You know what I mean? A lot of times, because people nowadays are not really, really mastering the craft the way that they should, mm-hmm. they, don't, mm-hmm. they don't know how to do the battle rap how to do the the song, how to do the party piece, you know what I'm saying? Where before, like in the in the in the in the beginning, you had to know all the elements. You had to be a part of yep. all the elements, and you had to prove yourself yep. before you that's could right. even, you know that's what I'm saying? Right. Be able to get one the Talk to and I think that that's what's missing. Let's go. The elements and the teachings of the elements and the connection to how it builds the character and the content of what you're trying to get across to people. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, these are gems being dropped. Y'all better pay attention and pick up these gems and store them in your mentals. Oh, my God. Yo, Miss Halfpint, we have a few um, callers on the line with us. Um, you mind if they ask you a few questions, you know? Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. Definitely. Um, Rocker, um, you here in the building. You have any questions for Miss Halfpint? Talk to her, Rocker. Oh, I'm just, uh, you know, listening, you know, uh, in- just listening to y'all talk, and I'm learning. Uh, I'm just having a good time just listening to y'all speak. Oh, okay, okay. Like okay, I mean, because okay. from 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 your musical ear and from the from the era that Half Pint comes from, you know, we talking about Public Enemy, Sons of Berserk. Like in your era, hip hop. Have you ever had a chance to really listen to Public Enemy? Hell yeah, no doubt. Oh, okay, like, my favorite. My favorite Public Enemy album is Sphere of a Black Planet. Okay. You know, like the way that they condensed so many philosophical tenets Mm -hmm. from James Baldwin to the Nation of Islam. They were, to me, like the successor to what Gil Scott Heron and Curtis Mayfield did in the 70s, but in a hip hop context. So, okay. okay, okay. Let me say, let me say something to that. You know what I mean? And because I wouldn't want to talk about, you know, because we got praying in the building, so we got to give uh, Southern Berserk, you know, self control, some love. But let me say this oh, yeah. in the beginning: when Bum Rush the Show drops, yo, Crazy. Time Bomb, she Crazy. watched Channel Zero. That was my national anthem, Pint. I played it. I had it on tilt because I, you know, had my Crazy. box or whatever. The joint used to, you put the 10D batteries in the joint and you turn it up on full tilt. Time uh-huh. bomb. She <laughs> watched Channel Zero. That was my national anthem. I would literally get up in the morning, turn my box on, pop my PE tape in, and have, t- yo, you go ooh and ah when I jump in my car. People treat me like Kareem Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, I oh, mean, man. Chuck is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, Chuck Chuck is one of my... Chuck D is one of my heroes. I got an opportunity to build with him, you know what I mean, after a show one night, and he was just like, yo, do what you do, man. He's such a down-to-earth dude, and he's like my OG. So I have to show him and, and, and show him reverence and respect, and it was nothing to that. It wasn't like I was playing myself. It was like, yo, this is Chuck D right here. And that's you know what, what I'm saying? Saying about the brothers and in, in PE and in, in the whole 510 family. They are so, mm-hmm. first of all, they're like so overprotective of me. It's not even funny. But right. they're, they're, <laughs> like I said, I don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't blame them. <laughs> but when I tell you that they are so welcoming and loving with their information, the jewels they right. drop. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, from, you know, from the S1s to the... the, mm-hmm. the Shout out to Brother James Bond, Bond, no doubt. doubt. That's right. And then with that, with everybody, it's genuine. It's it's genuine Mm -hmm. love. It's genuine respect. They don't feel like they're better than anybody, no matter where they've been and what they've done and what they've accomplished. They always are about giving back. And that's what, those are the the tenets of, you know, of of what it is to be, you know, a a person that that has influence and that is, you know, at the forefront of trying to create change in a community that, is steep in devastation, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where they are willing to put in the work and they're willing to share, you know, the information so that you can do the same and then they pass it down from, you know, one person to the next or one group to the next or one generation to the next. And that influence, you know, is global. Mm-hmm. That's right. It can't, and it can't be denied. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. 
So now, um, talk, a, talk about um, Son of Berserk a little bit. I mean, you know, y'all got some joints too now. You know what I mean? Bang is swivy on the well, shades of style. Like, what what do you what goes into the creation of a Son of Berserk joints? Because y'all joints are kind of different. <laughs> they are, you know they what are. Saying? And I, and I, I gotta, listen, I gotta tell you. When I walk, when I walked into the studio the first time, it was my first time in the studio. I'm in there, and I'm like, "Yo, all right, <laughs> what's going on?" And here's the bomb squad working. KG, you know what I'm saying? Where's the KG? It's just, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm, just putting mm-hmm. down the sounds and, and working. And when I tell you that he's a perfectionist, and he hears things like you know, like in that 3D dimension type thing. Uh-huh. I mean, he just just watching him work. And watching like or watching a Johnny Juice work or watching a Hank work, right, it's like right, right. it's like you know you just you know I'm just like wow, like yo, you learn so much. And then again, at the same time while they're doing what they're doing, they're you know dropping jewels with that, you know. Right. So they're telling that, and they're explaining you. Well, I just was like, you don't hear that? No, nah, I hear that. Wait, 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 hey, on. wait, wait, I gotta go work on that. You know what I mean? I mean the first time I got the first time I was in the studio, I think I think Keith might have. Worked on one piece for like almost an hour because he just it, he he just heard something. I'm like, yo, what's fine? He's like, nah, you know he. I got wait wait wait. Let me just. It was just a little. It was a piano piece, like three notes. Mm-hmm. But he just mm-hmm. had to get it right. And I and and I tell you that that is where that's where I come from. That perfectionism mentality of yo, I got. I, let me go go back and do it. Let me get it right. Or you know, knowing that with the sound, what you hear in your head, being able to put it out there on the board, on the soundboard, so that this way somebody could write to it. And when I tell you that watching Berserk write to the music, because mm. that takes a different kind of mentality, too. Because here you got this music that sounds like nothing else that you mm, heard, right. especially right. during the time where you had Brand Nubian leaders, right. you had Pete mm-hmm. Rock, you had, you mm-hmm. know, you had P.E., you had Naughty, you had, you know, mm-hmm. Latifi, you, you had all these different, mm-hmm. you know, you had, mm-hmm. you had all these you know, sounds that were great, and then here comes something that's like so left field. Like, well, did they just change? Did they just change the music in the middle of this song? Did that just be an R and B song? Was that just a slow down? You know what I mean? So here, right. and then, it, it, so, then right. so upon that, and then watching Berserk write to that with his cadence and 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 the flow, it's just like. In and out, and then he's saying like, "Yo, hold up! I want you to be here, and I want you to do this." And keep saying, "Nah, you know, yo, I want you to do this, Pine. I want you to do this, Pine. Yo, Ja, this is your part. You know what I mean? Like, and then they already know when to come in because again, you know, Townhouse Three, which was Berserk, Ja Well, and Daddy Roar, they were already mm-hmm. group, so they know the ins and outs and how to work together and how to mesh and how to, you know what I mean, feed off each other. So then watching yeah. that process and then them going in and then. Me adding to that, that was in itself was like a school. I'm like, mm. yo, I'm like, okay. this is, you know, like, okay, <laughs> this is what we do. All right, I, I can get with this. And you know, easy, so easy process. The whole album, you realize like, you hear me, you know, as the hype chick. But then at yes. the end, and then 41, I'm trying to get on the I'm trying to rhyme. I'm trying to like, yo, what's up? <laughs> you get the <laughs> you know? bud. Right, they, right. Finally, they finally said, all right, well, you back. All right. And I, mm-hmm. you know, did what I do. And then, um, you know, we were able to go on tour, experience life on the stage, which was a great experience. And I love being on the stage, like bleeding in the classroom. Um, we put out another project in 2010. With Johnny Juice, 2010-2012, with Johnny Juice. And when I tell you that, it was like we never missed a beat. Because mm-hmm. he, come, he comes from that PE camp as well. He comes mm-hmm. from that, you know, he's schooled in that, that bomb squad ethic. So when you hear uh-huh. that music and, you, and you, you see the process of what we were able to do and how we were able to, now you, you hear more of me not just doing the hype thing, but you hear me more of my lyrics. You see us meshing together, and it's so cohesive with the music that it's like you would think that, okay, this is some new shit, but this sounds like some some classic Son of Berserk. Okay. Maintain the integrity of what we're about and what we do. More with, you know, And we're about having fun. We're about you know making sure that everybody understands we ain't trying to be something that we're not. Exactly. 
Exactly. That's mm-hmm. dope right there. Now, can I ask you how fight? Um, do you keep up with um battle rap, the URL, anything like that? Um, I, every now and then I do. I have a, a, a one of my big brothers from college is actually a battle rapper. He putting in work. His name is Tony Stan, so salute to him. Okay. Because he he puts in work. Um, so I try to you know every now and then I try to get with I try to get with um to get a chance to hear him. But I, okay. I I've got to the part where at this you know right now, I'm I'm so focused on the empowerment piece of what we of what hip hop does. Uh-huh. I haven't even because you know, I'm like I said I teach so I teach and I'm an administrator in the evening for the alternative program so I'm trying to immerse the hip hop culture and the and create in the curriculum that I created within the the curriculum and the the skill set of my students and and. Mm. About the history of it and respecting it and preservation. So I really haven't even gotten to. Um, I don't even really listen to the radio anymore because of the core plantations mentality of what they're trying to do to it. So I just made it my mission to kind of stay as pure in my own thoughts and what I do. <laughs> okay, I feel you. Know you. What I mean, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hip hop all day, and I listen to the classics. I listen to, you know, what I mean. I listen to what we what we listen what we grew up on, but like I said, today's exposure of what I hear is 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 a little disturbing with the young people because mm. they're crying out for help, and I'm trying to figure out how do I use that, how do I use what we already know, what we've already completed, what we already created, to support and build a stronger, healthier, mentally, emotionally equipped young brother and sister so that we can preserve the culture for the future. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's what I'm talking about then. Much love and respect, definitely, definitely. Uh, I, I mean, I just appreciate you coming through and you um, blessing us with these Likewise. gems. Um, definitely. Um, do anybody have any more questions for Half Pint or anything like that? I don't want to hold do. the up. It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm in the cent- I'm in Central Time. I don't want to keep Half Pint up too late. You know, she a busy woman. Y'all got to understand that. Uh, yeah, just the good thing is I'm still on vacay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. We had the we had the, we had the Easter break, so you know the spring break thing. So I just been taking it easy, trying to regroup and um, get ready for the end of this, you know, for the end of the school year. Um, okay. Again, I, like I said, I do the um, hip hop for justice um, where, um, podcast on Sundays at nine o'clock. Where can they um, reach you at? Where can they reach you at? Can you um you got Twitter, Instagram? How can they get in tune with you? Um on um on Instagram, it's under my name, I believe, and on the on Facebook is probably the easiest way that I can tra- uh, move you to the Instagram. But on Facebook is under Cassandra, but you'll see my picture, my logo with my my half client logo with my face on okay. it. So you'll be able to see that Cassandra Jackson. That's what I'm under. Um, like I said, we, um. The show that we put, um, the show, the Classroom Hip Hop One Hundred and One with Dr. Blizzy, that that's going to be out. Uh, we're, we're shooting next week because we shoot once a month, um, and our guest okay. will be unique from the main source. Okay. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. So you know, tune into tnhhp.com here to see that and any other um, shows that we've done. Hip Hop for Justice you can find on SoundCloud or MixCloud. Our previous shows and every show. You know that has been archived up to this point. Um, okay. Like I said, I have a consultant firm, an educational consultant firm, where I want to be able to go into schools and teach these teachers how to teach our children, black no children particularly. Okay. You know what I mean, children of color specifically. Um, and then also, I want to be able to go into communities to help build programs for them, so that this way we're not relying on the outside to validate us or to give us what we need, we can do it from within. We have resources, and we may not, you know, we keep saying that these are, you know, our community is always poor, but that's where they seem to come pillage all the time from. So I want to make sure that they empower, mm. we buy black, we improve our community, we build stronger nations, we build stronger, yeah. healthier, mentally, um, and uh, mostly children who can become these warriors that we need so that we can stop going to the prisons and into these, you know, these 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 funerals where we can actually mm-hmm. start going into these stores and these businesses that they are running and they're owning. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's what it is. Great. Uh, you got a, you got a uh, question, oh, my guy? Uh, no, no, hold on. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, oh, just, oh, 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 hold up. We, got, <clears throat> we just did a um, we just did a single called "Skin in the Game" by okay. Um, it was by 
the True Groove All Stars. <coughs> Excuse me, featuring Son of Berserk, featuring No Self Control. That should be dropping soon. It's called Skin in the Game, and the video will be coming soon. So as soon as that drops, you know I'm going to link you to that, my brother. I believe it might oh, even yeah. be on SoundCloud right now. True Groove All Stars, featuring No Self Control. I'm um, Son of Berserk and No Self Control, Skin in the Game. It sounds like a classic hip hop beat, a classic hip hop son of berserk song, um, produced by KG of Spectrum Bomb Squad. Um, mm. Mm. You already again, know. I, you know, hopefully before the year is, we will be having our own our own project out and my project. So no make doubt. sure y'all stay tuned. Hit me up on Facebook if y'all like what y'all hear. Y'all wanna, you know, we got merchandise coming. No doubt. Oh, yeah, I, def- I definitely need another shirt. Definitely. Definitely. Just, okay. just send me that. I, I have some left, and whatever I have, you know I got you, my brother. No just doubt. No out. doubt. Put, 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 if put, put y'all are in town on July no 27th, doubt. make sure y'all make it to my um my event, the Global Impact of Long Island Hip Hop at mm-hmm. Roosevelt's um, Public Library on Nassau Road, which is also known as Julius Irving Avenue um, Street. Okay, okay. Well, well, no Dr. J. Well, all right. No hold, doubt. On, hold on, half pint. Hold on, half pint. Send one to Texas, too. This is all on Fresh 125. I need a, I need a shirt, too, and an extra large, please. It's <laughs> hot right, out listen. here. I need a listen. T-shirt. All y'all got to do, y'all got my number, text me the size and the address, and whatever I got, whatever I got, I got y'all. Y'all know that. And if I no ain't doubt. got it, I'll get it. appreciate you. Love I'll is love. Put it on uh, Instagram. Hit, you already hit, up, put hit, it on Facebook too. Here comes Slander. He got the he got the he got the question. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Do what you One do. Mhm. Before you leave us, yes. give me a top five of all time. Top five of all time. Hip hop. Okay, making it hard, but because because everybody when I say top five, I kind of get like, man, eh. I got like. No, nah, whoever, whoever it is. Right, I got you. I got Karis One. Okay. Harris one. Okay. Uh, Nas. Okay. It's not a, it's not a bad two. I gotta say Grandmaster Cass because he's the originator. Yeah, there you okay. go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Grandmaster Cass, I said Grandmaster Cass. Shout out to um, Cass. I gotta say, Big Daddy Kane. Mm, okay. okay. Nah, can I give you a pin? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, because <laughs> they they interchangeable. They interchangeable. We got time. Not much, not one. Time of, time you know what I mean? I rock, I rock with them all. LL. Okay. Um, you know Chuck. Yup. How many is that? You like, you, you got KRS. Six. You got Nas. Six, I think, right? Yeah, you, 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 hold up. You got a KRS, Nas. Mm-hmm. You had uh, Grandmaster. Daddy King, mm-hmm. Grandmaster Kaz. Kaz. Mm-hmm. You got Chuck D. Chuck D. And you, are, and you got six right now. Mm-hmm. All right. So now I got to throw my sisters in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shy Rock. Okay. 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 Latifah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. The Queen. Queen Latifah. Uh, I got light. Okay. Light. Okay. okay. Light to MC. Okay. Okay. And then um, you know I got my my honorable mentions. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's never easy. It's never easy. It's never easy. Don't worry, don't worry about it. You good? It's your list. It's your list. Half fun. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's your list. Half fun. You good? It's your list. Good. <laughs> yeah, my honorable mentions. I gotta. I got. I'm telling you, I gotta rock with. Um, Antoinette, and she's and mm-hmm. her stuff okay. is just coming out next. I know she's gonna be fired because she's working on some yeah. stuff now, and I know it's fire. Antoinette, okay. Antoinette, always been a beast, yo. Always. The female Literally. rock him. I gotta salute her. Yeah, yo. Woo. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. I, I mean, I love Lauren, but I know that you know she hasn't really put anything out really new, so to speak. But mm-hmm. I know that her, the I, I'm pretty. I know her skills have not gone anywhere. I think what she's dealing with is some some political stuff that you know when you get caught up in the record companies and stuff like that. But I love her. I love her work. Um, oh, but half pint. Can I hold on? I don't mean to interrupt you, half pint. But 
isn't the miseducation of Laura Hill just timeless? Isn't that is. album just timeless? I can listen it to is. it now and be like, oh shit. Yes, yes, yes. I can only I can only hope to be able to come close to even a, a minuscule of creating something like that. But yeah. I tell you that that is a soundtrack for almost like the song of the key of life type thing. You can play man. it anytime. It still oh, has meaning. It still has purpose. It's like yo. Even though it happened that long ago, like, yo, hold up, wait, yo, that's still happening. Yo, did you hear that? It's still that's relatable. A- it's still relatable. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's authentic. Uh-huh. Exactly. You know, and that and that that's 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 what really matters in hip hop. And I think people have gotten so far away from that where they want to be like carbon copies. We forgot to be authentic. We forgot to be courageous mm. enough to be us mm. and we do. Because even when people were in groups and they dressed alike, they had something that would, you know what I'm saying, I'm out, right? Mm-hmm. You you know know what what we got right. so far away from that because, again, the influences and the exploitation of the industry itself says you have to be this one way or you can't do it at all. And they forget. Gave it. So we ain't gonna listen to y'all. We've been doing hip hop since day one and rap since day one. So we still are doing it. You know, it may not get the airplay or the mainstream play that other people that some people are getting, but as long as they get to keep their integrity, they will forever. Mm-hmm. Forever mm-hmm. have the fans and forever continue to put out good work, you will always get be able to hear it. I mean, exactly. the X, they st- Brother James is still putting out music. Wise Intelligence is still putting out music. Shout, you know? shout out to Wise, man, for real, man. Yes, my oh, man. Wise, Wise will beat the, you know, he'll round the boots off of a lot of these cats, man. Absolutely. And, 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 yeah, Wise Intelligence. Shout out to Poor Righteous Teachers, man. No doubt, man. He's still putting they don't out work. Yeah, He's still, yeah out still work. doing work. No Absolutely. That's my man. And I, and, I, and I got a chance to meet some more, um, meet these brothers, Brother Jay, Wise, Austin mm-hmm. Gray. I explained Brother Jay, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, did, I got a chance to, when we were on the Hip Hop Gods tour, and I think it was 2012, I believe, you know, I got to build with them, Schoolie D, Moni Love, uh-huh. I got to build All with right. them, and I, huh? Say it again? I got to, I got to deal with them when I tell you that they are authentic people who, uh-huh. you know, are still down to earth. Much respect to all of them. And like I said, they're still putting in work. And no they're doubt. undeniable about their skills. They just get better. And if you listen to Daddy O and his new stuff, you know time just, it's like when time waits for no man, it just makes you, it just makes you better at what you do. You to listen, to, listen to Daddy O stuff and you'll know. No doubt. Yeah, we had him on the show. Daddy, we had Daddy O on the show last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we had Daddy O came through. Yeah. Yep. We had him on. Shout out to Daddy O. Shout out to Daddy O. All right, but mm-hmm. uh, Miss Half Pint, we definitely appreciate you um, just giving us um, your time. Now, I mean, like, it's just definitely an honor to have you on. Um, if you got any last words, want to let the people know what else you're getting into. I mean, uh, any last minute on the social media platforms how, so they can reach out to you. Um, I definitely got your number. We'll definitely keep you in the loop and shit was going on. Anything you need us to promo, we got you. Just send the word. It's a done deal. It's a, it only take a text message from you, and that's, it's, it's done. That's a wrap, for real. Um, but, um, Mass Land, do you have any last questions you want for half pint? Left handed, you got any last questions before we yeah. go? Yeah, I'm good, man. Go ahead, Slander. Do your thing, man. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Pint. Thank you. I, Thank, and you I get you you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Speaking, no of, doubt, uh-huh. speaking of females, right, I want to recommend you a, a female artist. Young okay. girl. Her name is Shanoa. Shanoa? Oh, oh, yeah. Shanoa is nice. Hardcore. Nice. Look her up. Right. She's on the 38th right. special. She's on the 38th right. special. Uh, yep. How you spell that? Special. H? Uh, um, it's C-H-E C-H-E no, N-O-I-R I see yeah. it. C-H C-H-E Uh-huh N-O-R N-O-I-R I-R Okay. Yep. All right. Put a space uh, in between it. Put a space in between it, and then she got, she got, a, she got, a, she got a video called Champion. Oh man, I think you're gonna right. like that. I that's think you're really one. gonna like that half fight. No girl, I think right. like, like I said, my my the, my little sister who's coming out doing her big things in the movies and in TV. She's also got her own stuff called Mocha Bands. Check that out on SoundCloud, Mixcloud, Spotify. This sister is the truth as well. 
Oh, send me some yep. music. I matter of fact, I might help. Yeah, I might, I might play her. Um, I might play her um music during one of the intros because I play different music during the intro. So, um, if you could send me some music to um freshlander at gmail dot com. Freshlander is spelled just the way it sounds. Freshlander at gmail dot com. Um, send me that MP three file and I, I'll definitely play the music on here. It's not a problem. I will definitely have. I will def- my um one of my best friends, her manager. I will definitely have her do so. Okay, not a problem at all. I tell you, she's the truth. She is the truth. Okay, okay. Well, this is all I'm fresh. Email, right? this is, yeah, yeah. That's the email. Okay. This is all I'm fresh. One two five talking to you. So, um, I'll text you or whatever, and just let you know who I am, so you can lock me in. And anything that's, that you need promoted, you just let me know. And it's a done deal. That's that's on us, for real. I so appreciate you, brothers. And anytime no you doubt. want me to come through, just all you gotta do is just text me, and I'm I got you. Yeah, no, no doubt. doubt. That's right. So that's that's right. right. Salute the left handed for bridging the gap. Oh, no doubt. I'm definitely going to do that. I need extra large. Oh, salute the left handed for bridging the gap. Salute the um, the left handed for bridging the gap. We appreciate Half Pint for coming on. Um, Shout out to Sons of Berserk. Son of the Berserk. Shout out to Public Enemy. Yo, this is definitely a special episode. I appreciate you coming through. And yo, everybody, just give it up one time for Half Pint. Yo, we got to share. Everybody, just give it up. Thank you. Thank you. So appreciate you, brothers, and like I said, any time. No doubt, no doubt. We appreciate no doubt. you coming on the show. Well, right. thank you. All right. Have a good night. Take care. Take care. Take care, lady. All right. Salute. Uh-huh.